Let's talk about crude oil. Let's talk about trade. First crude oil, Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, according to the Financial Times, seeking to raise billions of dollars to step up production of his $20 billion oil refinery. Uh, now, uh, there's look fundraising. He's talking to development banks, commercial lenders, oil traders, uh, of course, seeking to curb crude imports uh, for Nigeria. Crude supplies are very important to the potential financiers. And reportedly, according to sources speaking to the Financial Times, it's cost about $2 billion every 90 days to secure at least 300,000 barrels uh, per day. On the trade side of things, uh, something our guest has talked about a lot, the World Trade Organization has said that Nigeria needs to review its ports procedures, particularly high rates of physical inspection of containers at Nigerian ports. So they're saying if they don't do that, you're going to excavate the food insecurity. Inflation is going to rise. And we've got food inflation, of course, um, excuse me, well, headline inflation and food inflation uh, on Friday. So let's bring in a rise business analyst, uh, Chika Mbonu to discuss this matter. Good morning to you, sir. Thank you so much. Happy Monday. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, yeah, welcome. Welcome to a new week in Nigeria. A new week. Uh, where would you like to start first? Let's talk about oh yeah, I mean, Dangote. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, what, what do you make yeah, of this I report? Mean, nothing surprising. Yeah. You know, nothing surprising at all. Because if you have uh, a refinery of that capacity, you require 650 million, 650,000 barrels per yeah. plate yeah. per day. Um, you know, it requires the raw materials, which is crude this time, right? Plus other ancillary things to to run it. Yeah. And um, um, from what we hear, you know, the back of the volume calculation at three hundred thousand barrels a day, the requirement is about two billion dollars every ninety days. Sounds like a lot of money. Yeah, I wrote this. How many you know, For small me, maybe for not you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for me, that's a lot of money every no, ninety I mean, days. But it's not something to worry about because mm. you see. As I said, it's, it's input and output. You know, I mean, if you're taking crude, turning them into PM, uh, petrol or gasoline and, crude and diesel and uh, aviation fuel, you know, they have to be sold. It's not as if you're taking the money and just, you know, dumping it there. Right. Now, after the product has been sold, you know, financials will always provide you money to do that because the proceeds from the sales will come and retire the loan. Now, but a couple of the issues there, one of the major issues there is that, remember the local currency in Nigeria is Naira. That's correct. Now, if you're borrowing dollars and you're coming to get Naira proceeds wow. or Naira revenues, yeah. you know, that this issue, the exchange rate risk is real. Yep. And especially with the oscillation of the exchange rates mm. over period time. And for financials, that's a major thing. I, I have a, feel, a feeling that the Dangote group is also properly staffed, properly qualified to understand that they're going to balance that and make sure they have, you know, export and, you know, dollar earnings based through export yeah. to enable them, you know, uh, cover hedge against the exchange, uh, the exchange rate challenges. Because if you, if you borrow $2 billion when the exchange rate is at, at, at 1500 and the exchange rate goes to 2000 and you're still earning only Naira, you are in I trouble. Mean, you're in trouble. Yeah. And so I think, I think that's what it is. The issue is, with the financials trust the process, you know. Now, I, but uh, this is the reason, you know, it goes back to the problems we have. Mm. It's the reason because of what? The, 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 the initial model for this refinery was what? That Nigeria will have sufficient crude yeah. to provide the refinery, you know, to you know, um, be able to produce and sell. Um, but the issue is, because of the stations in our country, we've had our NMPC, you know, Ford sold a lot of our uh, oil, oil, uh, crude oil, and so there's a paucity mm. of supply now to uh, Dangote refineries. Yeah. And so that's a major issue. And therefore, to run the refinery, you know, every production plant, like, you know, has a, has a minimum level, otherwise it becomes meaningless to produce, right. but it won't cover your fees costs. Yeah. So they have to go around the whole world scouring for... Speaking of which, I know he's got buying from America and Brazil. We understand he's talking to Angola. Libya, and, yeah. Angola, so Gabon, how important Afri is that Africa, to try and Africa, yeah, get... everywhere he's, he's going to gobble up uh, crude oil. Everywhere yeah. he sees crude oil, yeah, yeah. the nearer to him, the better. Because all these places, far from places, are going to be expensive for logistics, him. right? Logistics, yeah, yeah, you know. But the plant, you know, requires six fifty thousand barrels a day. That's an template. Yeah, and yeah. you know that he needs to get right. to enable him the the this to move. But I mean, but you see, the, the, the other issues are the cacophony of noises you hear every day in, right. our, in our country. 
Uh, are they important? They imported two billion liters of petrol PMS that will last from now to December. They have done this. They're not buying Ipman, Moman, right. NMD, DPRA. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that you know. All I can say is this: that what they do, the Continental Minister of the Economy yeah. celebrated the onset of the the, the, the refinery because we said it's going to help. In conserving foreign currency for our country, right? The CBN government the same thing also. This is going to help. Now the continual, continuous or continued importation of PMS, for whatever reason, mm. is hurting our, uh, going to hurt our, our uh, reserves. Now, as an economist, in when things don't balance economically, don't make sense economically, you move it to political uh, level, right? So I'm sure there may be reason for that. But I would love to learn. I love to learn. I like, like, love learning. I'm a quick learner. You, I love to stay stay in a room with, with Mr. Wale. You do. The Syrian governor will educate me on why, you know, seemingly, and a lot of people are asking me seemingly what's yes. happening. Why is Dango Terrifying not being given all the support it requires? Why people are still allowing people to be importing? Why are licenses being given out for people to import things? Mm. PMS, anyhow, with the kind of quantum amount and, you know, with the dollar, dollar naira struggling. Um, you know, so I, I don't have answers to those questions because they defy basic economies. Right, right, and right. So, so I'm moving to political from, but I'm willing yeah. to learn. Yeah. You know, I, I hope that. Well, you're a man of deep you knowledge. Know, you, you know, know a lot already. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, real, real quick, the trade. I mean, you've talked about the port hey. so much, Chica. Miss, so much. The WTO and the. Do you remember when we had a debate here with, with the, 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 the customs custom yep, people? Yep, yep, that we yep. did a program here where we said about 22 desks. Yep. You know, for things to pass through mm. before you know they are they are exported, and the, you know the challenge or even import the challengers and said. You know, there's not so. And at the end of the day, they came to the level and said that, oh, anyway, we know that things are messed up at the port, but we are the best. After all, all the 10, 15 agencies there were the best. You yeah. know. Uh, it's not strange. Rutus, it's yeah. not strange. Yeah, yeah. Nigeria, you have automated scanners. All right? It's supposed to make life easy. Make life easy. <laughs> well, what happens? They human, want to do human physical, elements. Well, they want to do fiscal <laughs> inspection. You know? Right. You and me know why. That you know, yeah. it's like the toll gates. That's supposed to be like you go there, you pay your this thing, they get leaves, but they, it doesn't work. Mm. For what now? So people can pay manually. Right. Yeah, so they're not supposed to pay cash. I mean, just that. We thought about the, if a country. I'm, 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 I have, I'm happy that Miss uh, Jumoke. Do, oh, do yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's an active person. Yeah. She's competent. She's grounded. Has been made a minister of trade, and we will engage her. Trade, you know, we thought about if you want to do a country that receives about trade, start from the port. Right. Either for goods leaving the country or goods coming to the country. Yeah. yeah. But Nigeria were just, just a, different, a different body. A different together. story. Scanners are bought that cost millions, billions of dollars, millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. Have you wasted? Within one week, they just spoiled. You go to the airport now, you go to our airports also, look at the scanners. They spoil within whatever because people so can do manner yeah, searching. Yeah, yeah. And when they do manner searching, there's manual interference. <laughs> And manner everything, you know? Uh, so, it's our country. It's our you know? country. Yeah. Uh, look, we're glad we have you to analyze our country. <laughs> <laughs> Rise Business Analyst, Chicken Bonner, as always, thank you so much for joining thank us. So much. Appreciate you.